Phantom? Phantom, can you hear me? God damn it, get out of here, steam thing. Shoot. Shoot. Oh, Nico. Oh, phew. What happened? Everything went pitch black for a second. Oh, no. Is that... Can I actually not go... Okay. Oh, my God. That must have scared the shit out of Nico. Huh? It didn't do anything. There's a slot here. Looks like paper or something might come out from it. Oh! 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 Looks like something can fit in here. Are these where... I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm gonna do it. I guess that wasn't the right combination. Uh... <laughs> I'm gonna wait until I get a... Yep. Hey, can you tell me anything about that? Oh. I guess not. Alright. Hey, you're a normal person. This stand smells a bit like burnt sugar. Yep. Still getting the hang of making these fried candy skewers. They don't taste too bad, though. You want one? It's okay, thank you. So polite. Water? Hey, hey! Ready for me to blow your mind? Okay. Okay, so. I've invented a medicine to prepare everyone for the upcoming water shortage. All you gotta do is dissolve one of these pills into the water, and then you drink the water. And then you never need to drink water again. What? It also makes plants grow faster. How does it work? Here, why don't you take a free sample? Oh, thanks. Don't thank me. Go spread the word. I don't trust it. Will it kill you? Oh, oh, I can use... Actually, I exaggerated. The effects of the pill wears off in like a week. But all you have to do is take another pill. Oh my god, I know, I, I know what to do. I know what to do. I know what to do. But where do I get water? Uh, I need water. Can you have water? And also, we can get rich and famous and cool. But water. But I need water. I feel like there's something I missed over here. Hold on. <gasps> Lamp guy! What are you doing? What are you pouring in there? A street lamp. This one seems taller than the others. Get out of here, AVG thing. Hey, friend. Oh, hey there. You, uh, doing okay? Yup. What are you doing? Just filling this lamp here. It's taking a while. I think it might be leaking. Um... Can I help you with that somehow? He looks busy. You can tell, huh? I feel bad for you, buddy. Y you should fix that. Oh, poor guy. He probably rushed off because he is busy. He has so much to do now, he hasn't slept in like a week at least. Wait a minute. No, that can't be right. It doesn't have anything to do with these people, does it? Nah, probably not. What's over here? You locked? Oh, you're not locked. Okay. What's over here? What is this? Hold on. Hold on. Oh, I thought that was... I don't like not being able to see Nico. Don't do that again. Huh. What is this place? Can I unlock... Is this the door over here? 
for the, the locked one from earlier. Looks like I can unlock this door. Yep, that's what I thought. Alright, let's go find out what the thing is, Nico. Where are we? Oh, okay. <laughs> what is this? Uh, what? Okay, let me out now. I don't know what that is. That's scary. Let's go back. Alright, well fuck that. Stop. Oh, it's just sparkly water. Stop here. I don't... No. I don't like this music now. What's over here? Where am I? Factory. There is an awful lot of doors. Hey, scientist buddy! The luminescence index of the liquid red phosphor has decreased by a factor of 3.57% this past week. Alarming, to say the least. That's the sharpest decline I've seen, and the number is only increasing. We'll have to further concentrate the phosphor now, for it to be of any use. It's hard to believe, but there's a good chance the city could run out of light as little in as little as six months. What are we gonna do? Oh no. A bunch of words are on the screen. I don't understand any of it. Hold on, can I do anything else with this? No? Alright, well, that was worth a shot. Eh. Hi. In order to gain further access to the labs, you must pass the security system test. But, huh? You must change the color of the lights into a specific configuration. Allow me. Two lights correct. Oh. One light correct. Okay, so you're correct. Zero lights correct. What? Oh, so one of you guys must have been yellow. So you are definitely yellow. You two are definitely yellow. Okay, uh... Oh gosh. Four lights, correct. Oh no. Um... I think you're correct. And I think you're correct. Shit. So you were. Oh shit. Uh, you were blue. You can be blue also? And then you can be. No. Oh gosh, I'm gonna fail. Uh oh. Time to start over. Oh, you know what? This is probably... Oh, shit. Oh, I've always been so bad at these. Hold on.
That is a part of the test. Bummer. Oh, boy. I'm actually really bad at puzzles like this. The security system has been temporarily deactivated. Would you like to reset it? I don't think I want to go through that again. Yeah, me either, Nico. God. Oh, you're freaking out, man. What's going on? My robot! What happened? I don't know. I left it for a minute and... I gonna do? Oh, I don't know what to tell you, man. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing here. Why am I here? This factory is huge. Hello. I cannot stop spinning. These robots are malfunctioning at a frightening rate. Physical damage from square particle anomalies is almost impossible to revert. No living person can touch them unless they have a death wish. But if we're lucky, sometimes the squares go away on their own. But not before taking away one of the robot's arms or legs. Or head. Okay. This one isn't active. Boop. We are waiting to be repaired. Boop, 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 boop. This is so tedious. I miss the good old days before our robot repairing robots broke down. Now all the robots have to be assembled by actual people. But aren't you a robot? No. I mean, do I sound like a robot to you? Not really. But your head is a TV. Wh what does that have to do with anything? Uh, never mind. Yep. It's over here. Let's go to the other ones, probably. Hey! I can barely keep my eyes open, man. How does Dr. Silverpoint get all that energy? Energy drinks? Probably coffee. None of us have been sleeping very long in light of recent events. The square particles took out a few of my robots last weekend. She fell asleep. Or I'm proud of coffee coffee machine. It's almost empty. It's a shelf full of little machine parts and tools I don't recognize. Same thing? Yep. Hey, coffee head. What's up? You have a book. Mm, I wonder what the author would do in this situation. Dr. Silverpoint usually references his works. Teach me. Damn. Hello? Hey! Are you the one that Red Lady is modeled after? Oh, shoot. If I had known you would be here so soon, I would have turned off the system. Hello there. Sorry about the weird security measures. It's okay. Phantom helped me solve it. Did they now? So, can I help you with anything? Are you Dr. Silverpoint? Yeah, where's the library? The library? It's all the way on the other side of town. I've been there. The fastest road is where you take the shortcut through the back alley, but... I think that's how we got here, actually. Oh, good. You should head back that direction and walk to the east a bit. You'll find it eventually. Thank you. What's this? Something is poking out from this shelf. It's a tube of glitter glue. You can have that if you want. Never know when you need to glitter things up, right? You're cute. I like you. Oh? Are you sure? Yeah, I have tons of those. Thank you. It's a bookshelf. 
Good God. How about... How about... Ah, fine. How about... Fine. Hey! So, you've been walking all over the world, huh? Uh-huh. Jeez, I can't imagine. Do you get really tired sometimes? Kinda. But I don't mind. It's actually really pretty. <laughs> I'm glad you think so. Even with the sun gone, the world is still a beautiful place. What did the world look like with the sun? Oh. Uh. You know, it's kind of embarrassing to admit how little of it I've actually seen. Oh? Ironic, isn't it? Even though I'm the world's leading researcher, why do you stay here and build robots? They're the ones who go exploring the world. I just write down the data, crunch numbers, generate graphs. Right. I've been seeing robots everywhere. I just thought it was because the world was too dangerous for most people to explore. It's not far from the truth, actually. But I know someone who do still does his research firsthand. Oh? Even after segments of land started collapsing and access to the more remote areas became difficult. I mean, he outright built a machine that could fly. Something we all thought was not physically possible. Is that Dr. Silverpoint? Oh, that's... I asked him about working with us, so he provides us with all sorts of insights from time to time. But for some reason, he really didn't want to build robots. Or more specifically, coding them. How come? Beats me. I mean, he's happy to work with robots. In fact, he even... It's been a while since we last talked. He must be busy with his books now. Yeah. The author, right? Don't overwork yourself, okay? Your journey is just as important as your end goal. Cliché, but true. Okay. Bye, Red Lady, who the Red Lady robot was modeled after. Hey, Phantom. Doesn't the lady look kind of familiar to you? Yeah! I wonder if she's related to the robot lady who gave me the amber. I almost want to ask her about it. Should I? Yes! Oh? That's... How did you get this? This robot lady in the Barrens gave it to me. She looked kind of like you. I see. Oh, you're sad. I made her sad. It was supposed to be such a breakthrough, you know? I even based around myself so I'll know it works. Breakthrough? We wanted to build a robot that acts like a person, thinks like a person. A robot that isn't bound by its own code. Oh! But turns out you can't really build something like that. Too many contradictions in the code. Made her unstable. That was the only time I've ever seen a robot go rogue. Oh no, did she do something bad? Scariest day in my life, tell you what. Rogue? But she seemed so nice when we talked. Even if she talked a little weird. Ah, uh, she's been repaired for some time now. My friend was able to stabilize her volatile state through his own means. A real miracle worker, that. After he was through, she ended up turning out just like how I wanted. But the damage was already done. I gave up on her back then. We all did. I'm sure she realized that. And now she won't ever come back. She won't even answer my letters. Aww! Sorry. Uh, sorry for rambling. You should hold on to that amber, okay? I will. Oh, were you the friend? You couldn't have been the friend. She was asking about a male researcher, wasn't she? The Baron's engineer just reported another sighting of the particles in the cliff area. I saw that. Well, nothing unusual at this point. I'm picking up some more disruptions in Sector 8 of the city. This is consistent with our earlier findings. 
not good at all. Ugh, the square particles just took out two of my robots in the blend. We might have to put off water analysis project for now. No. He seems so happy. Monitoring. Monitoring. What are you monitoring? Okay, bye. No, this must have been the other side. Yep. Uh, can I help you? I don't think I can. I don't think I can do anything. Alright, well. Done exploring this side, I guess. I hate you. That was not fun for me. Hi! It's a big metal box with lots of machinery inside. This one has a robot in it. it. May help you to go one color at a time. Really? Really? I hate you. This is a printer room where machine parts are made. Also robots. Oh. It can also help to write down previous attempts. Are you... If all else fails, wait for the puzzle to reset. Maybe you'll get an easier one next time. Why don't I find these first? Yep, another one with a robot. You know, maybe I should have explored before I started doing that puzzle. Yeah, probably would have been smart. Probably would have been smart. Alright, I'm done here. Let's go, Nico. little cat paws. Alright, so... Can I go back to the garden? Oh! Hey! Hey! You said that it was leaking, though. Maybe I can... fix it. Is there some way this is supposed to... Okay, here's what I want to do. Hoop. Hoop. How about... Oh, I can't actually... That's lame. Okay, so we'll put that one in there. And then we'll put this one in here. And then we'll put this one in here. And then we'll put this one in here. Okay. Um, cheese? Nice. Ouch, my eyes. Yeah, Nico, let's go get a picture. It's a photo of me. Are my eyes always this big? I take another picture. Not a cat. Oh. Do it again, Nico. Uh, cheese? Ow. Oh. How many pictures can I take? It's another photo of me. Good thinking, Phantom. It's a good idea to have a backup. I just mispronounced your name. Can I do it again? <laughs> All of the pictures of the cute kitty. 
sorry, Nico, you're gonna go blind. Three is enough, right? <laughs> Never. I'm sorry, Nico. This is kind of fun. Aw. When are you going to run out of paper? This one turned out pretty good. <laughs> Why does the second one keep getting stuck? You out of paper yet? Oh no! I blinked in this one. How many... Oh, that was different. How many of these can I take? I'm so sorry about your eyes, Nico. You and your big, beautiful cat eyes. Nice. I... How many of these can I take? <laughs> oh my god. All of these are turning out pretty good. Oh my, are you serious? Are you kidding me? How many of these do we need, Phantom? <laughs> All of them. And the camera's out of film now. Is that a film? The ultimate photo. Can't have too much of a good thing. Very photogenic. <laughs> I want to see something. Hold on. I was really hoping that the pictures would be in my documents. Phantom and I fixed the camera. Ah, oh, sweet. Hold on, are these all different? No. Oh well. Can I give you a photo of myself? Nope, okay, well, let me see, where can I travel? I'm gonna go to the library in a second. Can I go back up? This elevator goes back up to the catwalks. We'll need to press the button if we want to go back up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Nope, wait, there's a fish guy around here somewhere. Maybe he can give me water. Yeah. Hey. Nope, not looking forward to that water shortage. Right, I can refill this tube with more water here. Yes. So, put the pill in the water? It dissolved really fast. Okay, let's go fix Maze. I don't know why we're fixing Maze, but let's go fix Maze. She obviously is going to be our best friend. I also like purple guy. Okay, go. Mm hmm. Uh. What were you mm -hmm 
coming, Nico. Mace! Good thinking, Phantom. This water should really help the seed grow. It sprouted a tiny leaf. Okay, so I got rid of it, though. Good luck, little plant. See you, Maze. Bye. Hey! Oh, you're still here. Would you, um, like anything? I can cook something for you if you want. It's alright, thank you. Oh, Nico, don't be so nice. Take some food. You're gonna be- you're gonna mention at some point that you're hungry and there's gonna be no food around. And I'm gonna say I told you so. Do, 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 do. Uh-huh. Who are you talking to? Who? What? Okay, let's go to the library. Forget about it. I did not come this far. I... What? When the world ends, would it be better if it was gone in an instant or slowly fading away? To be honest, I'd rather the former. Too late, buddy. Your world's already decaying. Hello, person. The library is up ahead. Thanks! Wait, how did... Oh, okay. Do, 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 this is just a useless circle. No running in the library. Shh, quiet. Hi, friend. The author's books cover a wide range of topics. It seems there are no subjects he doesn't write about. Quite the Renaissance man, don't you think? I guess so. But he's been focusing on documenting the world as of late. Oh? They say this city is the last bastion of civilization. Soon these books may be the only thing we have to remember the rest of the world by. Ah. I like your style. Dots. What? What? I didn't say anything. Well, stop staring at me then. I was just looking at your book. Yes, you are in a library. There's books. In the library. Um, go bunk the chatty one upstairs. You're rude! Photo of some people. He just glared at me. I don't think we should bother him, Phantom. Fine. Oh, great. Oh, hello. Do you need directions? Let's see. This area here is mostly historical accounts. The reference section is downstairs, and, uh, I'm not sure where the children's section is. Sorry. That's okay. I'm not really looking for books. Oh. Are you here to look for the author, then? No. Oh, that's good. Or, I mean, that means you won't be disappointed. I've been volunteering here for months, and I've never seen him. Not even once. He works together with the head librarian on publishing, so you think he would at least show up once in a while. But he doesn't? Yeah. He seems kind of reclusive. Which is weird for a guy who supposedly travels the world. Maybe it's just around people. Ah, He's... Wait. I'm glitching in you. You're a jerk. Some sort of plaque. Yep, still scared of ladders. Oh, sorry, I forgot about that, Nico. Hello, person. Hi. Reshelving in progress. Please watch out for potential falling books. I will. Okay. kinda glad those computers were off. What 
what's with these people with weird things on their heads? Okay. Book club! Book club! Oh, there's so many shiny books. Who is... Oh, that's a TV head, okay. Oh, oh god. I can't get around some of these things. You're going through these pages pretty fast. Actually, it's mostly pictures. Oh? Yeah, the author doesn't only write books, he also illustrates them. Sometimes he makes books out of only pictures. Neat! Little plant. Hey. The author, the author publishes books at a highly accelerated, almost inhuman pace. In fact, he has put out more books in one year than most authors do in a lifetime. According to the head librarian, there's still a large amount of material that is written, but not yet published. One cannot help but to wonder where you can get so much done in so little time. I did the calculations, and the numbers simply don't add up. Maybe he can stop time? No such mechanism exists in this world. Is that actually possible in your home dimension? Nah, I just saw it in a movie once. About superheroes and stuff. Like the Flash. He can't stop time, but he can move fast. A big book with the black clover on the cover. The title says, Emergence of New Ecological Niches in a Post-Sun World. Ooh, that's cool. Phosphor shrimp. Oh, he actually lives inside of a bubble. Also known as a seed shrimp in the certain vernaculars due to the shape of their transparent coat. These aquatic invertebrates are the most abundant life form in the ocean surrounding the barrens. Nice. A nocturnal beetle with a vibrant glow. Sometimes captured en masse and put in jars to be used as living lamps by the Glen's residents. This has inspired now common practice of using phosphor shrimps to do the same. A green marker. A blue marker. A red marker. A marker drawing of a clover. A marker eraser. Looks like a list of book titles right in here. Hey. The author's latest books are really something, yeah? The head librarian just released a bunch last week. Oh? They're big compendiums. You'll see him if you look around. Kinda different from his earlier works, though. I'm used to reading his travel logs and novels, mostly. Well, if all of his books are travel logs, it makes sense why there's so much. So what do you think about the author? I... don't know. Have you read his stuff yet? If not, you should. Wait, are these all books by the author? Okay, that's a little bit insane. A big book with a black clover on the cover. The title says, A Comprehensive Guide to Phosphors. As a general rule, if a phosphor loses its glow entirely, it cannot be relit unless exposed to the sun. If the phosphor is merely dim, it may be possible to boost it through exposure to another phosphor of a higher energy. But even so, the boosted phosphor will never return to its original bright lit brightness. Oh, I didn't realize I could turn the pages. Oh, wait, I didn't realize that I was turning- oh. Thought I was turning back and forth. Blue Phosphor. In the Barrens. Out of the common phosphors, blue phosphor is of moderate level levels of energy. It can exist both in organic and mineral forms. The mineral form is most commonly found in the metallic sand of the Barrens. The organic form is most commonly found in phosphor shrimp and their secretions. Although the light of emission is of blue phosphor is powerful, it has what I would describe as self-conserving properties. That is to say, the glow may not be constant. Most forms of blue phosphor will stop glowing if left undisturbed for long periods of time. If using blue phosphor to power machines, a motor should be set at a baseline level of activity to shirt constant agitation of the phosphor. Alternatively, live phosphor shrimp can be used. Green phosphor, the glen. Out of the three common phosphors, green phosphor is of the highest energy. It is also the rarest of the common phosphors, as it can only be found in organic form. Known sources include the sap of phosphor trees, fireflies, and various mosses. Although this phosphor is presented in the ubiqu ub ub ubiquitous ground-covering moss in the glen, it is only in minute amounts and almost impossible to concentrate. Green phosphor is ideal for industrial use. However, due to its relative scarcity and past over-harvesting, there is currently no reliable source. Thankfully, at least locals of the Glen still have enough to get by. 
Oh, so they were over harvesting this planet for their phosphor, and that's why. Oh. Red phosphor. Out of common phosphors, red phosphor is of the lowest energy. It exists exclusively in mineral form and can only give light when in solution. The dilute red phosphor abundant in the city's water channels can be concentrated with and induced with currents. This can create an artificial high energy state with greater luminosity. One major caveat is that phosphor in this supersaturated solution will precipitate out rather quickly. As soon as the phosphor recrystallizes, it loses its glow permanently. If using supersaturated red phosphor as a power source, make sure there are proper facilities or services that can replace it frequently. Huh. Coolio. Wasn't there another book I missed? Nope. Okay, bye! I like your book club! Hey! The author is so cool! I heard he can travel all over the world with a flying machine! That's how he gathers material for his books! Wow! Coolio! He must be Dr. Silverpoint. Oops. Um, what are you doing to that book? Don't worry, these are my own books that I wrote. I just pulled them off the shelves to modify them. I have to cross out some sections. Most sections. Eh? How come? Because otherwise they'll think I copied him. Him? The author. I mean, I really don't see the point of writing anything anymore. The author is just going to write about the same thing and then everybody will love it. And nobody's going to remember the books that came out before his. Oh, I... I mean, I ain't hating. I can see why people go nuts over his stuff. That guy's got major talent. But it just hurts, you know? It's never fun when people call you a copycat for something you wrote about first. I can see that. People call me a cat all the time. Even though I'm a person and cats are pets. And mousers. I sure hope people don't think I eat mice. <laughs> then I guess we're in the same boat, kiddo. Oh. Well, I think I changed at least half a book's worth of content. Even then, it's still too similar. Looks like I'll just have to accept my fate. Well, I guess being called a cat isn't all that bad. As long as people don't assume you eat mice. Alright, so. Photo of some plants. Interesting. Not really. Why was I here again? This library is huge. Excuse me. Oh, you are the Messiah. Welcome. When I first entered the city, a big robot told me to look for a library on the surface. This is the same library, right? Affirmative. Oh, goody! Well, we're here. What do we do now? The big robot only said there'd be clues here. That is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. <laughs> hello, hello? Hello, hello? <laughs> uh... George? <laughs> she is not picking up. Is she not here? She is here. She is in the archival room upstairs. When she is concentrating on her work, she will ignore any and all phone calls. For several days. Yikes. Can you go get her in person then? Leaving this post is not in my programming. Then can I go myself? Of course. The archival room is accessible through the stairwell behind me. I like your glasses. Gotcha, thanks. You have cool glasses, but you're a robot and you really don't need them. Who am I to judge? Maybe you're into fashion. Coffee cups. Coffee is for grown-ups. Coffee machine. It's almost empty. Probably those book club guys down there. Eh. Unauthorized entry. Library card required for further access. Wait, what? Library rec card required for further access. I don't have a library card, though. Where can I get one? This is a question for the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. No! Oh, God. Serious? 
He just told me I could go up there. Come on. Nah. Oh, Nico, you're so cute. <laughs> she is not picking up. I figured. Are you sure I can't just go through? Letting you through without a library card, it's against my programming. Wait, even in an emergency? My programming is not flexible. I have not been tamed. Uh. Alright, Nico. I'm on my third cup. I can't feel my limbs. Um, but I have to stay awake! I need to find out how this book ends! Um... Curse the author and his beautiful cliffhangers! Okay. Maybe I can... Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey. card in here somewhere? Do you guys got a library card? I haven't seen any superheroes in this world. So a lot of robots, though. Well, I guess robots are more plausible than superpowers. True! I forgot that I gave you a voice. I just like looking at pictures. Same. Uh, do I have to find a library card? Hey, you! Yeah, you're helpful. Everyone's heard of him through secondhand accounts, though. Oh, but he did reply to my letter that one time. I got it framed immediately. Nice. Hopefully one day he'll show up. Can you help me? Hey, can you help me? Hey, library card? So I'm guessing you don't give out library cards? I only handle book transactions. For people who already possess cards. Uh, to acquire a card, you would need to contact the head librarian, George. Allow me to call her. Don't! Unauthorized entry. I know, I know. Oh, there's this book I found back in the Barrens area. Since this is a place for books, would you happen to know what it says? I do not recognize this language, but the symbol on the cover is of importance. Oh? The head librarian, George, can explain it. Would you like me to call her? Please don't. Um. Um. The back of the photo is covered in glue. In glitter. Oh! Uh. Okay. It's an ink bottle, complete with a quill. Brings back memories, doesn't it, Phantom? Aw. Tall pile of books. Small pile of books. Is there something I can do? I'm guessing I need to fake a library card somehow. Oh, I just realized! His eyes are close in that one, that's cute! I should have picked the ultimate photo, darn it. Maybe the RAM guy can help me. 404 RAM not found. Hey, can you help me? Oh, I, I wanted to... It's warm here. Yeah, this was my originally original purpose. Watching cats? Warmth. Oh, it's a nice purpose. Uh. Oh, you look tired. Do you wish to rest? I can't sleep now. Phantom and I got stuff to do. I see. Oh, Nico, you can rest. It's okay. Uh. Hey, you looking for something? Yeah, I need to go find a library card now. Any idea where I can get one? From the library? We tried that already. The person in charge wasn't there. Oh, uh, maybe check out the factory? You just take the stairs at the end of the street and make a turn. There's a lot of scientists there. 
scientists read books, right? They might help you. This is why I love you, purple guy. Let's go. Have I found a bed yet? Hey. 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 Sorry. But your robot. Hey. Hey. Help. Oh, hey, you're back. Can I help you with anything else? Yeah. You know how I can get a library card? A library card? You have to ask the library for that. I tried. I need to see the head librarian, but I can't get it to see her without a library card. But at the same time, she's the one who gives out library cards. Really? <laughs> that sounds like George, alright. I'm sorry you caught her on a bad day. Oh. Wait, I know. I could just give you my library card. Won't be hard for me to get another one. Wow, thanks! There, you're all set, I think. Wait. Shoot. I forgot, the front desk library bots have facial recognition. My photo on the card won't match you. Unless I tape a photo of my face to your face. Um, that was a joke. Who knows, maybe you get lucky and the robot will take it anyway. Worst comes to worst, you can always find somewhere to take a photo. Kip, your name is Kip. You are Dr. Silverpoint! Whoop. This card has my face on it now. Oh, I see. You put your own photo on there. Does that mean your name is Kip now? That was a joke. Oh, the library card is cute. I put the good one on there, though. To the library! To the elevator! Who do you keep talking to? We should get going now, Phantom. I can't sleep in this bed again? Oh no. I can't sleep in that bed again? I haven't found another one yet, though. I wonder if it's just one dream per bed, then. Nico, why are you saying mm-hmm? I don't get it. So, where did you find all your cats? They found me on their own. So I stay here now. Ah. Well, it's good that you're not alone, at least. I met some robots in the other areas stationed all by themselves. They felt kinda... bad. With robots, it is alright. We are not like people. We are typically unable to feel loneliness. Right. Well, you talk less like a robot than most other robots I've met. Maybe. Not many people frequent this part of the alley, but there are a few. One of them even lives here. I see. You have been here a while. Are you sure you do not wish to stay? I'm good. Thanks for offering, though. Okay. Well, bye, Mr. Dude. Alright, well, I guess... Shit. I have a library card. Ugh. Authenticating barcode. Executing facial recognition. Photo match. Successful. You're good to go. Have a nice day, Miss Kip. Maybe I should have changed the name. I love that sound. It's so happy. If you have an inquiry, please approach from the front. I'm good, thanks. Ah. Cute. They thought of everything. Telephone? Looks like an old phone. It's full. Small tree. Small tree. Oh, look at that city, though. Hey, little fella. Hello. So you're gonna, like, save the world and stuff. Oh, your dots change. Didn't think I'd run into you, but now I did. Hey. Um, thanks? So, like, what's up? Can I get you anything? Yeah, I heard you can help me. 
I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do now. I think I'm supposed to go in the tower, but how do I do that? You don't. At least, we don't. The tower has only got one teeny room in it. It ain't even got stairs. I bet you need phantom cell on this one, pal. Exactly how? I don't know. How does everybody know my name if they had a different name for me in the beginning now? But I bet you anything that sort of knowledge is... I bet you anything that sort of knowledge is in some mystery book somewhere. You mean that glowing one over in the corner to my right? Nothing my collection fits that description, though. Uh. Loose papers and notebooks. Yo, those are manuscripts the author gave me. I'm supposed to, like, help him publish and stuff. But he hasn't shown his face around these parts lately. That's like throwing off my groove, man. Like, I'm used to him sending me new stuff all the time. I mean, of course I can't keep up with the pace that he's writing, but he don't mind. Guy's just totally passionate about his job. Makes me want to work hard too, so I do! I've been playing catch up with the stuff I haven't gotten to finish yet. But you know what's weird? What? The stuff I'm supposed to finish, don't get finished. Like, I've put out book after book, but the work pile I don't get any smaller. Have I really been slacking that much? Oh. Black clover symbol. Hey, and this other book has a clover on its spine. And the rest of these books, too. Are they all about clovers? <laughs> Lol, nope. That's just, like, what the author calls himself. Oh? He don't tell anyone his name. He just uses the symbol on his work so we all know it's him. He wrote all of these books? I know, right? Book is poking out from the shelf. You just open at page 472? Another fruitful visit to the great prophet today. She seemed in high spirits. She told me that she saw another glimpse of the Messiah's arrival, more vivid than ever before. The Messiah will wake up in a dark house, she said from the vision, included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps of... She said the vision included lights from a window and the sound of footsteps on a wood floor. Regrettably, she is unsure of the house's location. Gratius was also present at the meeting. I ended up visiting his house later and we swapped notes. He has been very vigilant on recording the Prophet's Day today musings. And his writing has been significantly more legible lately. His children were endearing as ever. The elder child, Calamus, expressed his interest in reading. I offered to teach him as I did his father. Oh, Ratchus is... Oh, that's right, the great prophet was friends with their dad. Calamus! That box has got stuff I can publish this week. I better up my game, dude. Peeps are lining up to read his books. Oh? What does he write about? Dude, what doesn't he write about? Like I said, he's got passion, lots of it. It's like every time I turn around, he just writes another huge anthology about the universe. Gotta respect that. You're a lot different than I imagined you to be, Georgie. Not gonna lie. Well, this looks like a sketchbook of some sort. Another still life of some object on my desk. Still not very good, but Silver can recognize the objects at least. Oh, they look good. Another book. Hey! I think this book is actually about clovers. Although its pigmentation is primarily black, the leaves display an incredible iridescence when exposed to sunlight. These curious plants are most resilient and can thrive in the metallic sand and the harsh climate of the barrens. In the glen, it can also grow directly on top of the moss layer without competing with moss for resources. Radiocarbon dating of fossils suggests that these plants may have been the first life forms to colonize our world. Nice. I don't like that door. Oh, profit bot! Thankfully, Dr. Silverpoint's team was able to replicate our prototype. On the right is an updated sketch of some of the modifications of the external design. More importantly, we used a radically different architecture for the microprocessor due to limited resources this time. But it still should be capable of delivering the light profit's message. The team suggesting that taming suggested that taming was a lost cause. Oh. Wait, was she the only one tamed then? Oh, I'm not gonna go in there yet. The fridge is full of bottled water and takeout boxes. Is there anything I can give to you? What about this? Hey. Oh, I do have this book. Yo. 
Yo! Where'd you find this? Somewhere in the Barrens. Cause that's... Got that symbol and everything. Here, let me read it. Aw, oh, seriously? He even used that language? I gotta translate this, man. Mind if I borrow this? Not at all! Sweet. It's gonna take a while, though. You cool with that? That's fine. Eh. Excuse me. Whoa, dude, you look wiped, kiddo. Huh? You look totally tapped out, dude. I look what? You look like you're ready to take five, bruh. Yeah, I don't get it. Don't worry, I gotcha. Got a guest room in the attic down the hall. If you want to crash there, go for it. Oh, thanks. Bruh, it's gonna take some time making this book readable, you know what I'm saying? Eh, excuse me. Again, don't sweat it. Go catch some Z's. Okay, I'm gonna finish looking around. I know Nico's tired, but... It's a printer. Oh, what about this? Even the painting is books. Wish we could hang out sometime. He's a chill dude. Wait, what? What am I looking at? It's a box. Alright. A book on the ground. But she deeply believed in the multiverse theory. Regarding alternate versions, she likened the probability to the rolling of dice. Recently, I found that theory to be easier and easier to believe, but I couldn't help describe it very well back then. Nevertheless, I still wrote it to the best of my abilities. After all, it felt only right to honor her this way. There are six. Which one did you encounter? Are you telling me there's six Georges? noise. There's random drums inside the music. I'm a little tired from walking. Is it alright if I take a nap? Yeah. You did good today, Nico. You did a lot of work. You got so much done. You go ahead and rest your big yellow cat eyes. Good night, Nico. Thank you.